we could tell you that this is the best emergency medicine residency in the most exciting city with the warmest people, but we'd rather show you. So welcome to New York and welcome to our family. Signs of trauma here. Or all this way, you're going to examine, okay? Give yourself a big hug. To me, this feels like a big family. And that's what's really nice is that when we're looking to try to solve some of society's biggest problems, we all work together to try to figure out you know, what can we do? What can we do to make this place better? What can we do to make our patients' lives a little bit better? I've learned my speech to interview residents over the years. So I want to know um, what this resident, what this student wants to do to change the world. It's no sense giving that person a privilege to come to Belgium if he or she doesn't want to make the world better. There are millions of underserved people over the world, and I think we have a responsibility with the opportunity at this university and this hospital uh, to make the most capable people to solve the problems in the world that are essential to solve that most people aren't interested in. I think that the residents or students who choose to come here are special in and of themselves for having chosen to come to a place like this. I think that they inherently recognize the importance of the work that we do and they want to be a part of it. Working here with the tenants we have here and with the residents and the medical students we have here has nurtured that a spirit of academia and a desire to teach and a desire to learn and to continue that discussion that might be lost elsewhere. There's attendings who've been working for like 30, 40 years. They wrote the textbooks that other people around the U.S. or around the world are reading. And you get to sit next to them on the shift and ask them questions about something, like that's the coolest thing ever. Even though this city's bigger and you're more anonymous, my relationships through the residency were like, I think, extremely tight and long-standing. I mean, those are still some of my closest friends. Residency is very hard. I think we all have to go through a lot personally, physically, mentally. We have to grow a lot and you need the time to be able to take a break and bond with your residents. So we definitely go out a lot. If you're going to go into an, a specialty that is 24 hours, you should live in a place that is 24 hours. So that is when you get off and you want to do things, you want to meet up with friends, everything doesn't shut down. And I think that that makes a greater quality of life than I could have had in any other place. I came up from North Carolina, so I was a very naive southern girl coming up to New York for training. If I can get used to it, anyone can get used to it. I'm only three months in. Uh, it's definitely a lifestyle change, but you know, as soon as you become a part of this program, everyone kind of accepts you and it's like one big family. If you find something that you like, you're going to be able to find uh, you know, a bunch of faculty mentors who are interested in it, um, a bunch of people who are willing to support you and come in and do extra work, take extra time. People who are here, they want to be here. Um, and, and you can tell when the way we interact with patients, the way we interact with colleagues. And I mean, I've interviewed all across the country, and this is the only place that I've seen that, that has this kind of culture. Every time coming to work, I just, it's like, it brings a smile to my face, being able to work side by side with the residents. I think the, the thing that is special about this program is the commitment to the hospital and the residents. Without the residents, I don't think I would have stayed for 30 years, I, I'm quite sure. Because, you know, that wouldn't be fun. If you know you want to be somewhere, go there, lie there, really go with your instincts. Um, and choose Bellevue, I mean it's really great here, <laughs> that's my advice. One day there's going to be a movie made about our class. And I think that, um, you know, older me can be played by uh, Matt Damon, but he's like 40 or 50 now. So I, I'm, I'm looking at Chris Pine's work. He's going to play me? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, whoa. I never thought about that. I mean, it's a legitimate question. Um, Natalie Portman. Denzel Washington, if I'm really lucky. Like a younger Denzel Washington. Can we do that? Okay. <laughs> Idris Elba. 